Ukrainian military officials and Russian pro-nationalist voices are downplaying Russia's ability to launch a sweeping large-scale offensive in Donetsk region in the current circumstances of the Russian armed forces. Now, this is the latest conclusion by the Institute for the Study of War. The think tank has previously assessed that Russian forces have regained the initiative on the Svatova criminal line, but that the offensive has not yet reached its full tempo. Russian forces reported culmination and tactical failures around Vuhledar in the region of Donetsk have likely further weakened the Russian ultranationalist community's belief that Russian forces are able to launch a decisive offensive operation. The Russian military command is deploying its most elite units to the Bakhmut area amid the reported Russian heavy personnel losses here in smaller formations using urban infiltration tactics according to the limited footage of Russian tactics in the area that the Institute for the Study of War has observed. Now, Russian offensive operations elsewhere in Donetsk region and along the Svatova criminal line have resulted in marginal advances without operational significance thus far. Despite the current operational focus on central, Donbass, Russia remains concerned about guarding the extremities of its extended front line, says the UK Defence Ministry. This is demonstrated by continued construction of defensive fortifications in Zaporizhia region and Luhansk regions and deployment of personnel. A major Ukrainian breakthrough in Zaporizhia would seriously challenge the viability of Russia's land bridge linking Russia's Rostov region and Crimea. Ukrainian success in Luhansk would further undermine Russia's professed war aim of what Moscow calls liberating the Donbass. Deciding which of these threats to prioritize countering is likely one of the central dilemmas for Russian operational planners.